Hello everyone, I am Crafty Neats and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to press that subscribe button and um, like and share this video. Today, Today we are going to be learning how to put a decal on a coffee mug. Um, we're going to be using 651 vinyl. I'm going to show you how to uh, weed the decal and put it on the um, mug. So for this project, we will uh, be needing the coffee mug, of course. This coffee mug is um, it belongs to my boss. And she asked me if I can jazzy it up a bit. So she loves uh, football and she loves the Raiders. And because it looks like a football, you know, we could turn it into a football. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to turn it into a football and put some Raider decals on. Uh, let me show you all the materials that you would need. We will be needing our 651 vinyl because that's the permanent vinyl for this activity. I'm using, um, yeah, 651 vinyl. And um, something to measure with. I'll be using my, I like to use measuring tape versus versus a ruler. Um, it's easier to like, especially if something's round, it's easier to use. Of course, we will need our Cricut tools. And um, you will need a, a microfiber uh, cloth and some rubbing alcohol to clean the surface before you put the decal on there. Um, and also um, transfer tape. I like to use the contact brand, but you can use whatever brand you like. And this little bad boy is what I like to weed um, weed my uh, my negative vinyl into. Helps a lot. Got this from the uh, Dollar Tree. It's a little snacky cup for toddlers. And then you will need your little squeegee to um, burnish the, the um, decal. So let's get to it. Okay, so I already have my uh, decals ready, as you can see, but I'm gonna show you how I got them. So um, once you have um, images um, in your design space already, you go to images and then you find the image that you created. So um, I found my little football stitch. Then I'm gonna use a little curve arrow to turn it and then you go to edit well I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller so we can see what we're doing okay and now um, you go to edit and then go to line type cut where it says cut and then you could change the color from there so I'm gonna change it to white and see now it's white and then to get the um, font, you go to text and um, system is where you have all your fonts at. So I'm going to go to the Raiders font that I, do I um, downloaded into my iPad. And then um, you type in whatever letters you want and it will come into the Raiders font. And if you use the Raiders font, just know that and you have to do capital letters um, I tried lowercase letters before and they are like block letters or uh, not block letters, but they have like blocks around them and circles around them. It's kind of weird. But yeah, so you saw how I turned them sideways. You just use that little curved arrow and it would turn it sideways for you. Okay, now on to sizing. To size um, your images, you will have to select the image that you want to size and then click on edit. I already measured my um, object that I want to um, put these on. And I will know I want the white stitching to be uh, 5 inches and the font to be uh, 4 inches each. So um, you could just play around with um, sizing or whatever, but always measure your object first. Or whatever and um the cricket always goes by inches so just know how um how many inches you want for um your objects i mean your um images to be so once you have that you can play around with it and i always like to put the colors the color i'm going to cut the vinyl so that way when it goes to the mat it could be in those colors 
you don't have to, but that's just what I like to do. Okay, once you have your images size right, you will click on make it. Okay, so now um, you want to place your images where you want them. So you want it to stay in between that red box because that's the border for you to not cut um, the images wrong. And then you're going to swipe left to go to the next map. Okay, once you adjust your images and then um, you're ready to cut, you will um, press continue. And then um, I like to keep my machine on custom, so that way it'll pop up what I am I cut. It will ask me what am I cu cutting. So it says set materials. I'm gonna cut under the washi tape setting because that's the easiest for me. I found with six five one, it cuts it perfectly. You could cut the vinyl setting, but I like to cut under washi tapes. So then um, when it gets to the next step, um, is telling you to load your mat. So now we will go and prepare our mat. Okay, here's my mat. It's a little bit dirty. Um, so, I'm trying to do this with one hand. So when you put your um, vinyl on your mat, you gotta make sure that um, it has no air bubbles. So you put it on the mat, and you gotta make sure you put it in a space where you put, where you went to make it, and you put the objects. You have to put, make sure that that's where your vinyl is on the mat, because it's gonna cut it exactly where you had it at. So, and you gotta make sure you have the right color first. So we're gonna cut the black first. So here's the black. And then if it had bubbles in it, I will smooth it out, but I didn't have to smooth it out. Okay, so here's my Cricut machine. Once you pick what um, type of material you're cutting, then um, this little arrow will flash. And so you have to make sure you put your, uh, your mat right on in between those two little uh, clicks on this side, I don't know what to call them, but you make sure you put it in evenly and then you press the little arrow and then you press the, um, see the little cricket, you press that and then it will start cutting. When it's done cutting, then um, the little arrows start flashing again. So you press the arrows to release the mat. Now it's time to cut the white vinyl. So I put it in. So now I'm going to um, press the flashing arrows. And then when to press, once it's time to press the C, you press it and then it'll start cutting. Now it's done, so it's time to press the arrows to release it. Okay, so now it's time to uh, cut these. I got them all ready. So you're going to use your tool to cut. So now we're going to get rid of all the negative. I don't know if you can see, but all the things that we don't want, that's what we're going to get rid of, and that's when this comes in handy. Okay, let's get to it.
Okay, now um, it's time to clean your surface. So you're gonna use rubbing alcohol, let it dry, and then put the decals on. Okay, now while that's drying, it's time to get the decals ready. So I will be reusing this contact paper. I love to reuse stuff, so don't judge me. I don't throw things away until it's necessary and you can reuse your contact paper until it doesn't stick anymore. Okay, now that it is all done drying, it's time to put the decals on. So I'm gonna start with the white piece first, a little stitching. So thank you for tuning into my channel. I hope this video was helpful to you. If there's any um, other videos you would like to see, any um, things you guys need help on, you can always um, put it down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if um, it was helpful for you. And um, please share, 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 share this video get it out there for me please that would be greatly appreciated 
Also, um, if you want to see more things that I have made, you can check out my Instagram page or my um, Facebook page at um, Neek's Custom Designs. Um, I will put that down in the description box for you. You can always DM me and I will get back to you. Also, um, I would try to see if I can put a, a, like pictures of the, what I made today in, um, at the end of this video. But here it is. It's a football and it's Raiders. <laughs> yes, but thanks guys. Um, hope you guys have a blessed night. And don't forget to tell your friends and family about my channel, Crafty Neeks. Bye.